And the story has been a tragic reminder to a lot of local runners here to be aware of their surroundings, especially if they're out for a run in the dark. In Tampa Bay, Jenny Dean joins us live from Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa this morning to talk with us about what you can do to remain safe out there. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, you guys. You know, whether you're running uh, in the daylight, on trails, maybe here on beautiful Bayshore, or especially in the dark, you can never take your safety for granted. It is something that runners always need to be thinking about because someone running by themselves is always vulnerable. So we brought in ultra marathoner, a running expert this morning, um, and you also own Go Running. Tampa, Laura Bradley. Laura, thanks for joining us. You've talked to a lot of runners since this incident happened in Memphis. Yeah. What's kind of the general feeling, first of all? Well, um, the general feeling that I'm really getting, especially from my female runner friends, is just frustration is the word that comes to mind. I mean, we want to know that we can go out and run just like anybody else, and we want to run when we want, where we want, what we what we want to wear when we're running. Like, all these things shouldn't be factors, and we're kind of tired of people pointing fingers at the victim. Absolutely, and I think that's a great point, but it's also important that every runner is aware of their safety and can take precautions. So what are some of the things you've run in all, I mean, all kinds of situations. You've been on trails. You like to do all kinds of different running in all kinds of different times of day. So what are some of your best safety tips? Uh, best safety tips, um, a big one for me is no headphones. I don't wear headphones. I dropped that years ago. Um, make somebody aware of where you're going. If you've got somebody you can tell or how long you're going to be gone. Um, being very aware of your surroundings, even possibly carrying mace. I do that sometimes depending upon where I'm going. And just um, also switching up your route is a big one too. It only takes one or two times and somebody knows where you're going to be when you're going to be there. And that is something runners love habits. <laughs> so sometimes yeah. it's easy to get caught in doing that same route, same time, but we really need to switch that up. Oh yeah, definitely. Because again, that, that's the way that, you know, you can easily get targeted and all that. So, you know, just switch it up, run your route the other direction, just any little change so that you're not somebody that somebody can target very quickly and easily. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Laura Bradley. And of course, uh, another thing that she had mentioned earlier, and I want to make sure I mention, as you run past people, make eye contact, nod your head, make sure that they see you and that they know you see them. It just makes, makes you more aware of your surroundings. And that's really the most important thing when it comes down to it. All right. We're live in Tampa. Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay. Thanks, Jenny.